What's up guys? Soul Pros here again with another video. Um sorry uh then I'm like almost halfway on this repair but I, w I was not planning to make a video but uh seems to me pretty interesting how to open this uh a Samsung tablet T810 if you guys can see the model right there okay uh, the way this tablet is I was trying to change the fix the charge charging port I'm sorry fix the port on this but to open it up I find out then we have to remove the LCD which it came uh, attached to the frame we have to remove it extract the LCD and then underneath that LCD we're gonna find the screws which um, we have to take off uh, we have to remove the screws to take the frame uh, and also to get to the main board so uh, the way uh, I find the best uh, I hit a little bit the corner I hit the corner and I lift it up with my razor blade I hit I give it a uh, pretty good amount of heat then uh, I lift her up a little bit with the razor blade enough to uh, slide in one of my business cards in and then just uh, just keeping on on applying heat and I've been like just sliding the card in once you do like half you're you're able to like even even deep the, the car in which is easier as you can see because it doesn't have adhesive in the middle because the LCD comes attached with the digitizer so we're gonna keep going and hopefully we're gonna remove it and I'll show you uh, all the way we're gonna what I've been doing again so I apologize to make this video like uh, halfway of my repair but this will give you an idea to how open this tablet in case you want to replace some of the components inside or if you want to replace the the complete um, do a screen repair on it so we're gonna heat it up uh, don't put the the heat gun too close because you know if, if the LCD is not um, damaged you can burn the LCD. You see, this kind of adhesive. I want to let you, I want to tell you, it's kind of soft. It's not a hard, hard adhesive. Look, I have a piece right here. If you give it a good heat, it will lose. So that's that's kind of good thing. That will be in our favor. So we keep doing it like this. We just gotta be careful on the tap because the cable goes the connection on the LCD is right here and to the motherboard or uh, on to the other side to this side. So we just keep hitting, giving some heat. Be very careful. You know you don't want to chip that glass. God knows how much that glass costs right now. Um, very slowly and I help myself with the other one dipping it in like this and I don't want to dip it too much just in case we have any other cables here I'm gonna work on the top right now there we go I never done this repair so hopefully I do it successful because this is my first time you see how soft it is if you give it a good hit it's like the best way maybe is like uh, apply heat and do a little bit and then reapply heat right away so that wouldn't give time to the screen to cool down so that's the best way to do it apply heat like just push the car and maybe like one two second again apply more heat that way if you don't give time for the screen to cool down so that way you don't have to 
be you see that that's the best way to remove this this tablet uh, screen there we go I think we we're doing a pretty good job hopefully I'm not wrong I will highly recommend to use this business card highly highly recommend that all playing cards in your case maybe you don't have business card uh, playing cards and uh, and to get in is the best is the razor blade which is very thin and strong you just heat it up I'll, uh, just give it a good heat and lift it just good enough to slide in the corner of the business car because I didn't want to use it much because you know this metal can chip the, the glass very easily and oh, I think I got it done I think we're in if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna lift this up really careful wow voila there you go like I told you guys here we can see Ooh, here we can see the the LCD connection just gonna uh, we have to lift it it's uh, clipped in and it has this little stripe uh, holding it down gonna remove that and there it goes kind of stick there you go woohoo successfully did it guys I never knew I was going to pull this off so easily to be honest with you so just remember on the left side just be very careful that is where we have all the components don't go deep in okay I'm gonna put that on the side and I'm gonna show you here look I'm so happy I didn't rip this off. I'm so happy. Look, I almost did rip Tether off. I knew I was um, doing something here, but thank God I didn't rip it off. So be careful with that. Watch the video before you, maybe if you want to start. So that's the way to do it. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat. This doesn't have any adhesive in the middle, which help us, uh, allows us to uh, do... Uh, this remove uh, faster than what I thought. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get the screwdriver and remove this. Okay, back again. I got the screwdriver on me, and uh, we're gonna remove. Uh, I see a bunch of screws. Uh, we have to remove most of them. I took this repair and I didn't even know I, I never repaired before but you know that's what we do here we're cell phone repair we repair stuff anything you ha have to be up to any task you don't have to do only the easy jobs that's what I want to show you guys you want to learn get into the repair uh, business or a hobby whatever you do you have to be up to any task so that's what I like I do this because I love to fix phones so I'm not forced to do it so we're almost there I see two black screws right here which they they don't look like too much but I'm gonna remove those two just just in case they're holding up uh, any component then I, I don't want to get anything broke uh, I'm so happy glad we pulled this off thanks to you guys encourage me to keep doing these videos and repair so uh, we're gonna just like kind of push it like push the frame uh, out and push the middle frame in I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying but I'm just gonna do this and 
we have to pry the middle frame off the 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 metal frame which is it's not it's not that hard use your razor blade if you want to I also had a flat flat tool here I'm gonna show you I'm gonna you see so you can pull this off out with this one too just to let you know I'm gonna start from the top again this middle frame has to come out one way or the other there we go almost there it's kind of hard though now let me oh Sorry, I forgot. I said I was going to remove these two screws and I totally blew it off. I forget. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that, that will help a lot. Okay, and we're gonna remove it from the top to the bottom first. See? That easy. It came off. Uh, just to show you guys, did the seam tray. Uh, it's right here. Uh, if the if the that's another mistake that I just did. I'm gonna. You have to remove the SD card. You see what I just did? If you don't remove it, you could break the SD card, or you could break uh, this um, this the SD card reader. Please, that's why I, I say watch my videos because I always do videos. Sometimes it's the first time we open another device. So, this way is the way you're learning. Okay, we're gonna put that frame on the side. You see, I was trying to open it from here, but when I find out I, I couldn't, I say, oh god, we're gonna have to remove the front screen. But thank god, we pull it off. And we have the inside components, guys. Just to let you know, uh, the main thing I open this tablet is to check on the charging port replacement, which uh, I'm gonna remove and show you. Um, it's a little board, which uh, is is not one single motherboard. It is not part of the motherboard. Uh, it's a little board on the bottom, which I guess uh, is where the speaker, loudspeaker, and um, let's say the microphone and the charging port comes, some antennas and stuff. Uh, usually, if you don't do, if you don't know how to do soldering, this this might be good for you because um, you don't have to actually do soldering if you want to you can just go ahead and and I guess replace this, uh, this little board is just held down by it. adhesive this little board as you guys can see there you go and as as I see it has the same uh, USB uh, they use on the Galaxy S3 and I've seen on some different tablet to the like the tablet 10.1 the first no the second generation okay I'm gonna put that on the side okay guys I'm gonna leave you with that if you're familiar with this uh, with my videos you know if you pull it out from here you're gonna be able to fix it up and do what you gotta do and put it back together I'm not gonna put it back together right now because like I told you I'm gonna replace this part probably I'm gonna have to order it you can get it from eBay uh, wow look that's, that's the home button too which I, I've seen on, on a lot of different Samsung okay guys thank you for watching and I hope this give you a little glimpse of uh, how to open this tablet the model T810. Okay, guys, ten, thanks for watching again. Thank you. If you like this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. 
if, if uh, any question, just leave it down on the comment below. Thank you. See you later. Bye.